Alright guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair. Today we're working on a, this is a YFM100, I believe it's a 91. Um, and the problem he's having with this one is that uh, when he puts it in gear, it just clicks. Clicks, click, click, but it doesn't go anywhere. Um, I've already put a new carbon in this one in the past, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start it up and I'm going to show you what it's sounding like now. And, um, and then we'll get to working on it. Coming from right in there. All right, so you can hear that. Coming from this area right here, so I'm gonna start taking the rear end and everything off. I'll take this cover off. Probably gonna to have to take the rear section off here and pull it out. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a shaft in there. It's got a, uh, I mean, it's definitely a shaft drive, of course, but I mean, there's a shaft and a sleeve, and the sleeve cracks, and the shaft spins uh, throughout it. So I'm going to take a look at it, and I will um, get back here when I got some stuff apart. So let me rip this thing apart right here, and um, we'll take it from there. All right, here you can see I pulled the boot back just to give a look in here, and here's our U-joint. It's connecting uh, to the rear shaft. And you reach in here and I can just spin this freely. Still hear that clicking noise. Right in there. So it's going to be part in the shaft here. So I'll have to take off both sides here. It looks pretty easy. I got a nut over here on this side. That goes all the way through to here. Take off um, the cables and brake line. Brake line's in the back right here. Um, take the wheel off, shock mount, and then just pull it off. And then most likely we're going to be pulling this off right here to pull this section out. And uh, maybe these bolts here pull this off. Uh, it's pretty straightforward it looks like to me, just a lot of little bolts here and there. But um, i got to take a break on it right now and probably get back to it tomorrow. But I will continue the video then and give you guys an update on what's going on. All right. Alright, so here's the plan. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the rear end apart. I will... I've already loosened the bolts up here. Um, I knocked this little locking tab right there. Knock that back. This bolt, one bolt comes out of here. The uh, brake bar here for the, rear, for the uh, foot brake. The one for the handbrake here. I'm just going to loosen these all the way. Take these off. Get them out of the way. And then uh, what I'm going to try to do is take, after taking everything off, there's a sleeve that's inside of here that connects the rear end to the front. And I think, hopefully, that's what popped and broke. And, it, and um, so if all goes well, I'll be able to take this hose off here, take that bolt off in the front, take the shock off here, take the brake linkage off here, and pull the whole rear end off. Um, and get a good look what's going on in there. So I'm going to set you guys up right here to watch and um, I will take it apart. Let's see how it goes.
I'm just making sure you guys have a good view here. The uh, my GoPro camera decided not to work anymore. I had to replace it. Uh, so you guys are watching me through a um, Xiaomi Yi. And okay, so. I got the brake lines detached. Take that bolt out right there. I'm gonna take, I'll probably take the shock off. See what happens here. This is gonna drop down. Just bolt out of the side, it should drop it down here. So, just pulling that rubber collar back. Looks good there. All right, the bolt is out. Oh, easier than I thought. Just a couple of minutes to get that whole rear end off. Yeah, let me show you what I'm looking at. Down inside there, see that piece is just kind of flopping around. I'm going to pull that out and see what we got. Coming in here, teeth look good in there. That's the piece that goes into it right there. All right, so looks like this snapped right here. It's a nice clean break. See that? See that down in there? So I'm going to reach down in there and grab that and pull that out and see if it comes out. It's, it should be a sleeve right in there. So let me uh, let me get my stalks and, and get that out of there. been busy in the shop and I haven't had a uh, camera to record stuff so boom there you go broken shaft so uh, that's what happened I'm gonna jump online and get this ordered up and you know as a matter of fact you, it'd be nice to be able to just weld this or TIG this back together again but I'm not sure it's possible I'm gonna see if there's because these splines, I guess it wouldn't matter. If I can line this up good with a sleeve, I might just repair it because it just sits inside there like that. So um, if I can get a sleeve that fits over this tight and this tight here, I'll weld it and uh, take it back on there and just put this back together again. Seems like a pretty simple repair. Let me uh, let me see what we can do here. I'm going to try to order this up and then I'll um, get the camera going again when I get the parts. Okay. A new shaft, I just got it in. Didn't make any changes to it. This is a brand new one from Yamaha. I did buy the little clip for it right here, also, and put the new clip on it just to uh, be sure there wasn't any damage there. 
Here's the uh, part number for the shaft, so you don't have to look it up. And this is for a uh, 1991. All right. This was the shaft and the clip was uh, forty nine dollars and change, and I got it. Um, I got it from Partzilla, so I get a lot of stuff through them. They seem to get it to me pretty quickly. But that's the shaft there, and then that's the uh, the part number for the clip if you need it. Figured I just uh, like I said, I just get a new one there, so. I'm going to put some gloves on, put some grease on the two, two splines right here, and then put it back to the shaft. I'll be back in just a second. Grease on the splines right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it back in to the housing. Right down in there. You can kind of see it right in there. So I'm just going to drop it down in there. All right, so it's just that's going to sit in there solid. Now I just have to get it up and get in here. Now this piece is going to move a little bit. Um, but I should be able to just kind of push it in there and by the way like the noise that you heard at the beginning of the video It's when this is spinning in gear Okay, that's the sound that you're hearing. That's the clicking that you're hearing so um, What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of set this up so it kind of sits about neutral And then I'm gonna put the shaft into there just wiggle it around and uh, we'll get it on. See how smooth this goes. Try to peg that shock and get it up a little bit more. All right, that's just going to hold it there. Okay, so now kind of swing this in the line. You can see it turning the shaft in there. See that? All right. So I'm just going to wiggle it until I know that. It, there you go. That's in. All right. So now, see that? Okay, we're back in, and what I'm doing? I'm just turning the wheels here. So what I'm going to do here is just slide this thing all the way up. I got the shock hold in place. It's going to just pivot on that shock. So now I'm going to be able to go to the other side and get that uh, swing arm bolt in. So we're in there. All right, everything looks good. So now from this point here, uh, we can see here that when I'm turning this, when I'm turning the wheels, I turn the shaft, everything is back. So now when you put it in gear, it'll uh, it'll engage and everything will work fine. Uh, pretty simple repair. I'm just gonna put the brakes back on here. I don't think you guys need me to show you that. Run this hose back how, how it was set up. Put the side piece back on. And I'll be, I'll be working on this thing probably another um, 20 minutes or so. But uh, I'm going to reassemble the plastic. Put the wheels back on or I'll, and uh, get it all kind of buttoned back up. And then we'll um, fire it up and I'll put it in gear and show you how everything's working. Okay. Back together again. It's looking good. I'm going to start it up. I haven't cleaned the carburetor yet, but um, it should start. And I'm just going to put it in gear and uh, see if we, we got what we're looking for here. All right, 
so uh, problem solved. That's all it was, that broken shaft. So if you have one of these uh, Yamaha Champs, don't throw it away because of that. It was a $43 part plus shipping plus the little clip on there. I mean, I spent uh, under $50 for that repair. And really, uh, it took me, since I turned the camera off last, to put that whole rear end together, maybe 20 minutes. I mean, it wasn't really long at all, 15, 20 minutes. So um, it's worth it. Don't throw them out, man. They're good four-wheelers. Uh, and if you have any questions, just post up. Make sure you like the video for me. And if you have any um, recommendations or anything else you want me to do for you, let me know. I work on bikes as I get them. So um, especially this one here, I couldn't find any videos about this repair and this problem. So hopefully it helps some of you guys out and you get to enjoy these bikes a little bit more. Ride safe, guys.